What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And here we are once again with the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. And this is a AI capable gaming laptop. And we've got lots of homework planned for this thing. Well, I say we, but it's mainly for myself. I've assigned myself all the homework. We've got all these topics so that I can answer all of your questions. So make sure you leave those questions and comments down below, and that may influence the future content. But we've got some cool things going on here. We've got some nice RGB, like this base bar in the front. You can see I finally have that set up, and it's doing a scrolling effect left to right, right to left. That kind of reminds me of Knight Rider, like this, AI capable game and laptop is about to talk to me. And then we have other things to talk about like Nvidia's chat with RTX. How does that work on here? That's going to be a future topic. But I figured we'd jump into AI in this video here. Starting with the simple, the basic, we've got that nice co-pilot key which serves as a shortcut to the co-pilot AI. So all things being said, the goal of this content is to help you get more out of your devices and improve your day-to-day -day efficiency with technology. And I'm hoping to accomplish this by providing an experience you can't find anywhere else. That's because I actually buy these products, I use these products, and I'm truly interested in them. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So as always, we're going to turn around the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9 since you've already seen the keyboard and I can actually put this to use with some real world application. We're going to have a live demo here. I'm going to articulate the screen up a little bit. Hopefully I'm not covering my face on the camera here. And we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on here. So of course, this content is going to be about the co-pilot key, but I want to talk about the keyboard a little bit, which has been very nice to use. Now, quick disclaimer here, I have been using a mechanical keyboard. You know the type, chunkier keys, more key travel, lots of clicking. I really do like these mechanical keyboards. They're really nice. But this, again, on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i has been a joy to use. Now, when it comes to this unit, we have a really good layout for the keyboard. It's going to be focused on productivity and gaming, and key travel is very good here. But let's talk about the noise of the keys. Now, that's subjective. We know some people like their keys louder with lots of clicks, and then others like it quieter with minimal click sound. And this falls right in the middle. I actually have to press harder to get any loud click in. I would say it's more on the quiet side. And this may be a little bit muffled due to the fact that I have a clear keyboard skin on the keyboard itself to protect those keys. And we also have very good customization here. Again, we have that base RGB bar there that's customized, but the keyboard's customized as well. So what does all of this have to do with the Copilot key? Well, it is directly related. That Copilot key, it's going to have good key performance. But again, customization here. I customized the keyboard so that Copilot key is also white, making it easier to find. Now, all of this was done with the Lenovo Vantage app, which we'll talk about more in a later video. Again, lots of topics to cover here, and I've got the homework cut out for me. So the question is, what can we expect from the Copilot key? Well, the answer is let's do a live demo here. So here I have the Copilot key once again, and I'm going to tap on that. And this serves as a quick shortcut to Copilot. It pulls up the Copilot preview where we can insert our inquiry. So I'm going to do this here. We're going to say, tell us about Tech Cracked Weekly. And then I'm going to hit enter. And I can tell you if I've already done this before, I was very impressed with the result. What it brought back to me here, it was very accurate. Now, there is some delay here, as you can see. You know, this is processing, it's sending all the information to the cloud where it could be processed with the GPUs off site here, and then brings it back to the laptop. But very detailed information here. It tells us about the YouTube channel. And again, this information is, uh, I've read it before and it's spot on. It works really well. Now this appears to be different than what we're going to talk about in the future, the NVIDIA chat with RTX. The NVIDIA chat with RTX, which I've been experimenting with a little bit here, it works in a little bit of a different way where instead of searching for information online, it searches your device locally, but then it appears that it connects to the internet to 
do better AI processing. I, I'm not entirely sure, but it opens a web browser where it can process the information that's stored locally on your device. And I imagine it's collaborating with servers and GPUs off-site. And if I was off a little bit about this, please let us know in the comments down below. I'm okay with being incorrect here. This is a learning experience for myself and I wanna make sure that we all get the correct information. But that's another thing we'll be talking about in the future, NVIDIA chat with RTX. I, it's, a, it's a lot of promise there, but there's a specific way to go about doing things that I found out and I'm still kind of learning. I wanna make sure that the content is prepared properly for all of you so that we could get really good content here. Now, continuing with Copilot, there is a new subscription that was recently released for Copilot Pro, and that's going to retail for about $20 a month. I think that's on the higher end. I think it's a bit extreme. I think it's going to price out a lot of cost conscious consumers like myself. I would prefer it to be somewhere in the range of $4.99 to maybe topping out at $9.99. I would pay $4.99. I might even consider paying $9.99 a month for Copilot Pro, uh, but, but $20, that seems to be a hard ask for me. So my question is, what do you think of that subscription fee? Is $20 a lot? And Copilot, are you using it enough to justify that? Or are you fine with the free version of Copilot? So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.